Hey guys, my name is Sanjay and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I want to show you how to use React Router in your React project. Now, React Router is basically navigation components that you could use in your website, in your React websites to navigate through pages without making to reload the page, making it a single page application. So I'll leave timestamps to all the things I do mention in the video in the description down below. So you could go check out each component and how those components are structured and how you could use them in React. So let's just get started coding. But before that, I just want to explain how React Router works. So if you already do know that, I just would say that you just go click on the timestamp below and just get started coding. But basically, I'll put a graph on the screen right now just to give you a grasp on how React Router works. Basically, it's got four main components. And the browser router, usually called the router import and view. And it's the switch component, second one. The third one is the route component, and the fourth one is the link component. Basically, the browser router is like the DOM, it's like the main uh, main component in React Router, and that has a bunch of child components that has access to React Router and the routing functionalities. So basically, the first step is to create a router component in your app.js which is going to be the main component or the main place of rendering your file which is obviously the app.js and then you create a switch component inside of the router component then you create a link component inside of that you, then you create a two attribute inside of the link component and you specify where to go like slash above slash above and then you put kind of like a button and once people click on that it'll go to slash above and right after the switch component, you could create a route component and put a path attribute and you say when it goes to slash attribute, so the path should be equals to a string which is path slash at about uh, if you're using multiple pages obviously. So if it goes to slash about inside of the route component, you, you could specify a component or some text or some content that you want it to be rendered. Uh, when it comes to the about page so that's how it works now this might sound a lot more complicated but let's just get started coding and i'll show you how react router works in react let's get started so right now as you guys can see on screen i've got a basic react boilerplate which uh, with the load node modules public folder and the source folder and all the package.json so inside the source folder you might have multiple files but i'm using a duplicate of my previous folder use this kind of as a you know boilerplate code so i have the app.js index.js and also nothing fancy so first of all what you have to do is install react router dom so you have to install react router dom in order to use all the components that uh that do come with the react router so i'll, I'll uh, get this downloaded and i'll get back with the email. so right now react router dom is successfully installed so you could check if it's installed by going to package.json and here it is react router dom so first of all in order, in order to use it i'm going to be importing a couple of things so first one you you should open the brackets in order to get the specific you know components so browse router as router and then we'll get the route component uh, and then switch component and also the link component sorry link component from the react router dom so i have a div an empty div so inside this i'm going to put a router component uh, now when it comes to react router dom you always want to make sure that you're wrapping the router uh, outside of all the elements that you have so say we have h1 inside the router you always want to make sure the h1 or the header or navigation bar comes inside the router because you want to access the navigational components inside of it so first of all in, in order to link create a link that goes to a specific uh, site, site uh, specific you know page you want to create a switch component and inside that you want to create a link component which actually serves like a uh, a tag so you create an attribute called two and you say I'll just say two products and I'll, this should be the name of the link that you are providing so once people click, click on products it's going to get them to slash products so I'll copy the switch component and I'll paste it over and I'll make this to go to slash about 
and here we have two links so I'll actually do npm start and I'll start the live server so you could you'll be able to see two links basically inside the switch component so as I did explain the switch component serves as a child component to all the links so it will switch between pages without actually reloading you know the site so basically making it a single page application so without it being reloaded so let's wait for it so as you guys can see there are two links products and about so if i click on products it will go to slash products if i click on about it will go to slash about but no content is being rendered only the links so what we can do for this is right after the switch component but inside the router you want to make everything every component that you're using related to navigational components should be inside the react component so you should use um, what is it route and inside the route no for the route you should specify a path saying when it goes to slash products you we want to render a specific uh, uh, content so i'll just say uh wanna render products and also i'll copy this and paste it for the about page and so just like that so right now we are in slash about so it's rendering slash about so if i go to products it will say products but what if you want to have some content on the home page so i'll say i'll create an h1 inside of the router i'll say home content and if we take a look it's going to say the home content but it, that value the content is going to be showing uh, showing on the page every time we switch between each you know page but we don't want that to happen it's good in cases such as navba and footer but it's not useful when you kind of have like a dynamic content to be rendered only on the home page so what we can do for that is i'll copy this over and right in this switch uh let me copy the switch instead uh no i'll copy the route i should paste that and the usual path to the home page is slash usually not like the normal slash i'll cut that and i'll render this out here and also you wanna specify uh attribute called exact so it only shows only on the home page nothing on the uh, you know products page so let me actually show how that works that's without the exact so it's also on the about page also on the product page but if i do put exact it's not on the products page it's not on the about page but it's only on the home on home page so another way you could go about doing this is creating a navbar to have all of these you know links usually you will not have any uh, sorry in a app.js so we'll copy that cut that out inside of this source folder i'll create navbar.js now basically um from no i'll create you know normal react boilerplate import react from react function nav navbar sorry and i'll return a div with all of the content that we did copy out so we should import all this stuff but before that let's export it so that we can use it in our app.js um, export default navbar so we we'll import switch um, switch And also we'll import link as we're using both of those components from react router DOM. So right now we don't have any navigational components, but if we just put navbar, which is going to auto import it for us, it's going to show the same thing. So we could toggle between each, you know, uh, pages. Now that's made more efficient. We could also make this more efficient, but by not hard coding the content that we are rendering on specific pages. Now, uh, now if you want to, you know, specify a lot of products, you don't want to make that in the app.js. So we want to create a folder called views. So inside that, there will be two files called 
products and about the js now this is what we have here so i'll copy that uh, paste it up in both of uh, both of the files that we created right now and i'll change this to products changes to products as well change this to about and that's it and we could render products maybe you're getting it from an api you could render that out in this component which will render it over to the you know app.js and show it there so i say about right here and we don't need these h1s here now i could just say render out the products component and here i could say render out the you know about component um, okay i could uh, get the products so as you can see if i click on about it's going to show the about click on products it's going to show the product so as you guys can see but if i go to the home page it's going to dynamically show the home content and that's pretty much it guys uh, so 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 if you have any questions let me know so guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching the video. If you did like it and got some value out of the video, make sure to leave a like so that this will actually help my channel grow and also help this video to be recommended to a lot of people. And also click on that subscribe button down below if you're interested for more videos like this. And also comment down below if you have any suggestions. I'll see you guys next time.